Well, dry eye disease is actually a very common condition, and it occurs when uh, your tears aren't providing enough lubrication for your ocular surface. And this may be this may be because your eyes aren't producing enough tears, but most often it is because the quality of the tears you're producing is poor. So it's a quality problem rather than a, a quantity problem. So the symptoms are gritty feeling, a feeling that the sensation that there's something in your eye, a foreign body in your eye, a grain of sand. Some people complain about tired eyes. Their eyes want to close in the evening when they're watching television. They're not tired themselves, but their eyes feel tired. And dry eyes can also be red eyes. And dry eye problems can also lead to blurry and fluctuating vision. So that patients describe that their visual acuity is not always the same. It's not always good. And typically the eyes are okay in the morning. But then as the day advances, because the tears evaporate, the feeling of dryness becomes more, more pronounced, making it more difficult in the evening, for example, to read a book or to watch television. And when you ask patients about this, they will typically describe this. So in the morning, they've slept, the eyes have been closed, they're okay. But then in the course of the day, the problems of discomfort get more important. And for many, it's indeed a problem of discomfort, but some patients with more severe problems um, then the problems can be so bad that they have pain and that it's even hard to open their eyes. And these patients, when they come in, either they blink a lot or they just keep their eyes closed while you're talking to them. And in these severe cases, the eyes are susceptible to infection and this can lead to scarring of the cornea and to loss of vision. So in most patients, it's about discomfort, but in a subgroup of patients, it's a very severe uh, debilitating disease.